Today we're going to do a review of the Logitech G15 keyboard, which is Logitech's first line in a gaming keyboard set. I'm going to tell you why it is. Now, here is the beauty right here. For one thing, features a nice big LCD screen for multiple applications and 18 configurable G keys, which are actually anything you'd like them to be. You have a possibility of 18 right here, and then you can switch through three sets of them, giving you the possibility of 54. These things are, these are configurable within the software, the Logitech software that comes with it, as well as a quick macro button that you see right here. What you can do is hit that key and then follow the on-screen LCD instructions that say press a G key, so I'm going to pick my G8 key, and then I set, enter my sequence of keys. Maybe I want S, D, R to be pressed at the same time, and then I hit MR, and then my quick macro has been recorded. That is now my G14 key. It also comes with handy software that has keys preloaded for your games already loaded on your computer. Within this program, you can also set what programs you have loaded on your LCD screen. You can also choose to manually switch between the programs, or you can rotate between them. See the separate programs all scrolling individually, so you can keep track on everything all at once. The Logitech software comes preloaded with a bunch of applications for the LCD screen. And then other applications come with their own built-in support, like Fraps, Prey, and even Xfire. Or you can download user-created mods for the LCD screen for programs such as TeamSpeak, or Instant Messenger. You can even download mods that allow your keyboard lights to blink. Now you can, it also has two USB ports right on the top of the keyboard, which is very handy for other uh, gaming devices you may have next to your keyboard. Uh, for example, I already have mine plugged into my joystick, as well as my gamepad. Wow. Here's how the keyboard looks in the dark. The lights on the keys can easily be turned on and off via a button at the top of the panel. The other nice thing about it is the applications you can down for the, download for the LCD screen are very nice. There's a whole community of people who make mods for these. So you can download it for just about any application you run through Windows. Uh, there are tons of sites, dedicated forums and everything that allow you to download applications straight from the website that interface with the, uh, that interface with the keyboard. Mm -hmm. If you take a look right here, you have your standard media play functions, which is very common in more keyboards these days. Of course, you have your master volume control, your forward, forward, backward, stop, pause, play. And then, of course, you have a whole bunch of black keys that don't show much of anything. However, they're usually modded by whatever software you're running on the LCD screen. So you have a possibility of one, two, three, four, five keys within your modded program. The keyboard also features a fancy little switch right here. It has a picture of a computer and a joystick. You can flip it from right to left. However, I have no idea what it does. I've never used it before, but it's there. Now let me talk about the cons of this keyboard, none of which I have experienced yet myself. However, I know someone who has, and I've read about a few user complaints. One of the most common ones is they say the paint scrapes off after a while. I have only had mine for maybe about four or five months so far, and I uh, haven't noticed it yet. Uh, but when the paint scrapes off, you're not going to be able to see the lettering on it. Uh, the other thing is some of the mods that you will download for your games uh, have can modify uh, your game files and when Punkbuster scans through it, you think you're cheating if you've modified the game and sometimes you will get kicked out of those games. Another thing about this keyboard is you want to make sure you have plenty of room for it. It's kind of wide, takes up a lot of room. So with this keyboard being a major gaming keyboard, very handy to use and very few shortcomings that I've ever found. I'm going to have to give this four out of five stars. The reason I don't give five stars because I always feel there's that little bit of improvement that could always be achieved.
Pull your keyboard out more.